Go Temtem! Let's go, go Temtem! Let's go Temtem! Let's Are you doing go. circles around me? <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. What are you so excited about? I'm so excited. I just can't. Wait, where you go? Oh my god. When do we get our skates back? We haven't had our skates in forever. We lost them when our ship crashed and no one's giving them back. What's that thing in there? What, you what, see him what? sticking his head out of there? Where? What is that? In the tree. Oh, it's not showing up on your screen. It's showing up on mine. Oh, yeah, I see him now yeah, from your sticking screen. His head out. Oh, now I see him on mine. Yeah, who's what that? What is that? Who is that? Whoa, you're oh, climbing so weird on my screen. <laughs> what is the point of this? <laughs> Just like, practicing. I guess so. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> my Nestle materialized out of the wall. That was so weird. Uh, okay, I guess we need to continue along this path. We're going down this way, right? We're going down, down, baby. Down. Down already. That's what we uh -huh. say to Clovis. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. We were... I remember when we first got our dog, we're like, we're gonna train him not to jump on people. And we've had him for over a year, and he still jumps on people. <laughs> he looking. just looked at me when I said that. He's like, are you talking about me? He's like, yeah, right. I'm gonna always be jumping. I think he. Uh, Can't tell I me think what he, to he do. recognizes his name, so I said his name. Now he's like, what's going oh, on? Oh, you need you to spell it out. C L O V I S. <laughs> uh, unlucky. unlucky. Bill, so Bill Soto. Uh, excuse me. Oh man, I can't believe this. No way, we landed on a friggin' ledge. Yeah, yeah, we did. And how are we supposed to get down from here? I think you know the answer to that. Just jump. Hey, that guy over there, I saw him climbing here. You, give us your gravitonic <laughs> pellets. I like this, Belsodos eat poop. <laughs> Yay, eat what? poop, eat poop. That's, that's not true, it's a lie. I've never eat... I, they never ever eat poop. Who told you that? Yeah, we most emphatically do not consume feces. You tell them. Nothing personal, but we don't want to climb down from here. We need to climb down from here. Yeah, I've got weak ankles. I can't jump that height. Don't tell them about your weakness, you idiot. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. I Let's mean, that could happen to anybody, right? It looks Be like, high. skunch, go straight for those ankles. Oh my god, that thing looks like looks like some kind of weird worm. I don't know if I like that. It's oh, now got, your like, water type's gonna be strong as a Zizir. I don't know if I care for that one. That one's kind of freaking me out, man. It's got like a suction cup or something. An ice shuriken. Whoa, that's a crazy move. Oh, oh it's it. oh he he's got a mouth that opens and then he's got something on his chin. Yeah, okay, like a little... I was trying to figure out what I was looking at. Yeah, I don't know if I care for that. You're um, like, I don't know if I care for that. <laughs> we never caught an Osiera. I wonder where you get the Osiera. Yeah, we've seen plenty of those. Yeah, but yeah I don't know. Sophie had one. Remember Sophia? That was so long ago. We fought with the Sophie. hot shorts. <laughs> yeah, she was the first dojo master we fought. That was like way back in the day. That was a millennia ago. So we <laughs> we started on the island of Denise, and that's known for its water types. So that's why we got a lot of water types there. Right. Because of I all the oceans, that. and you got the surfboard, and you travel around on it, and, Ooh, I and all that something. cool stuff. I learning something. Oh. Oh no. Too bad you don't have a wind move because that would be strong against Baloos. I should not Baloos. have done that. Your wind move would be strong against Baloos, but your electric's gonna be strong against Osiera, I think. Oh, well, um, let's see. I got rid of something I didn't want to get rid of, so I'm gonna oh. fix that after. Oh. Oh yeah, double damage against that Osiera. How come my Luis is so slow? Oh. Oof. Luis. I need cheese. Oh no, why did you die? Oh. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, oh I'm crying. Oh my god! Die, tap, tap, die! No! Oh my god, stop <gasps> spooking the Mom! dog. My tap, tap, dead! <laughs> okay, now I'm freaking out the dog. Yeah, you don't think that he hurts his ears? <laughs> oh my gosh. You screeching. Uh, so. I it's just okay, realized Clovis. my platy pet doesn't, ha doesn't have a lot of moves that can be done on the first turn. Okay, Clovis, lay down. Lay down, doggy. Lay down. Lay down. He doesn't like me crying. You know, he doesn't Clovis, like your high-pitched voice. The microphone. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. I'm struggling. This okay. is funny. Okay, he's good. Oh, no. One day, we're going to have to get, like, a camera so we can oh put Clovis God. on camera with us when we play. And you guys can see how irritating he is. <laughs> we could do live stream. That would be crazy. Yeah. 
He's always like right in the way. He's like, I want to put my head in the lap on your lap while you're playing. I want to lick your arm while you're playing. And I'm like, dude. And fart. Give me my, <laughs> give me some space. <laughs> well, we all fart while we're playing. You <laughs> only get that if you got smell of vision. Smell of vision. Uh, what's strong against electric type? I guess I'll just do this toxic thing. Smell. Electric type is. What's strong against it? I forget. Oh goodness, um, we should have a big chart. <laughs> yeah, we should just hang a huge chart in front yeah, of us. Yeah, right in front of us. Um, I would assume that mental is strong against electric, maybe? I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm just talking, man. Oh uh, man, are you <laughs> ready for out loud or are you, you mentally, me? are you ready for Thanksgiving? That's coming soon. I mean... I ordered our meal, so that should be good. Oh yeah, we got a Thanksgiving dinner for two from Safeway. It's just gonna be the three of us. It's real cozy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> today's episode is sponsored by Safeway. If you want your Thanksgiving for two, order it there. Well, you uh, were trying to order from Sprouts, and their website was like giving you trouble. Their website was fucking stupid. Yeah, it was like it was annoying the hell out of me. You were having trouble ordering the dessert with the the meal, so you were like, "Screw it, I'm just gonna get it." From but the table. it wasn't just that; just it wouldn't allow me to choose my time to pick it up. <sighs> Such bad web. Like, developers. why can't I pick up my damn turkey at the time I want to pick it up? God damn it! Give me that turkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm gonna scream. I want it on a specific date at a specific time. Yeah. Uh, Not when you say. We're so. getting a lot of enhancers. That's gonna be good to enhance our TVs for the, enhance the ones we want to enhance. Um, uh, enhance this motherfucker. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that like, such aggression. That sounds like a, such a good line from a movie, right? Like, you, what is that all about? You know, how many movies have you seen where they have like a picture and they're like enhance, oh, enhance, enhance? Wait, enhance. what are you doing? Oh gosh, George. Oh, sorry. You needed to heal up. I need My to do bad. some, yeah. Um, do you ever see? I think that was in Blade Runner, but there was a bunch of other movies where they're like they have a picture and they're like enhance, enhance, and it's like one guy standing over another guy at a computer. That must be so annoying for that guy at the computer. Just have someone over his shoulder to be like enhance, enhance. This is like such I can a trope and notice <laughs> tech the movies, right? Yeah, it's like I can handle it. I know how to enhance a picture. <laughs> Dumbass. Go get a coffee or something. Leave me alone. <laughs> Dumbass. Um. Okay. So what is this mental type and? Melee type. Ba -bong. Um, He's stretching it. So I need my Adoro. Oh my, I don't have my Adoro here. Oh, uh, whatever. Just do wind moves. Who should I do with my wind move on? Maybe him. I don't know who's going to be strongest. Uh, wind move didn't do too much to tentacles. <clears throat> tentacles. Yeah. I remember that from Blade Runner where they had like a CRT television, like an old standard definition television, and he's like, enhance, enhance, and it was just a blurrier and blurrier. <laughs> Pixel <laughs> And it was overload. supposed to be the future. <laughs> the future's not very good. No, I was like, well. It's disappointing. That was probably, I remember seeing in the Men in Black movie, um, they had a scene where they were in the Men in Black headquarters, and they had like a satellite image and they were like enhance, enhance, zoom in and onto someone's house. And I was like, that's insane if someone could do that. And now that's just Google Maps. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's so true. Yeah, I remember seeing that in black. I'm like, wow, you could just get a picture of anywhere in the world with a satellite. That's kind of crazy. And then now they just have that. It's called Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, like a pretty good image too. It's not yeah. like it's blurred to conceal, you know, privacy or something well they do blur faces so if you see the street view if there's someone walking that's true they you do. see like t-shirt logos and faces are blurred but you can see house numbers and stuff like that or license yeah. plates which is ridiculous yeah there was it was a celebrity that was complaining that didn't want her house on google maps like the satellite view i forgot uh, who that was um i don't think she won i think they they still put it up the picture of her a satellite picture of her house no i don't privacy. remember who it was but um do I have any that are a higher priority? Oh, all my moves. Oh, my tsunami does more damage because I'm with you. You're uh, with me. My tsunami Yay. does damage with you. <laughs> you know that sounds like I can't feel my face with you when I'm with you. I think yeah. that's because he's doing drugs or something. I don't think that's because he's with her. <laughs> uh, I thought it was she's maybe nervous. He's, maybe he's singing it to a stack of cocaine. He's like, I can't feel my face. <laughs> right. <laughs> my baggie or of a, coke. A pile of cocaine. I guess you don't stack cocaine. You pile it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uhuru base I'm forced to retreat southern approach to Uhuru ledge is not secure repeat not secure do you copy nobody's Sounds like listening. a horror movie oh my god we were watching this horror movie um called Leviathan which is like probably an old horror movie from like it's the old, 80s man. um and Peter Weller's in it if you don't know if you know Robocop um, the titular Ro Robocop. Oh, God damn, I keep He was so titular in that movie. Um, but the scariest thing about the movie was just the blatant sexual harassment happening on their underwater rig. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy that was just like very blatantly sexually harassing like one of the female workers <laughs> right? on the rig. And I'm like, well, I guess that's just out of the time. And no one said anything. And she was just like, I have to deal with that shit. But then she put like a. A crab or something under his pillow like a sea monster thing. and he's like calling her a bitch i'm like well you're the ass when i started the whole thing yeah <laughs> uh we didn't actually even finish that movie it was it's very it's slow going it's very similar to alien like the the ridley scott alien movie it's oh, alien under the water Nuhu lodge um Nuhu, Nuhu. i don't know what the point of this is whoa okay uh dead end oh there's a guy here uh, I'm stuck um, on a wall. But yeah, because their their rig is similar to a spaceship. It's just underwater. All uh -huh, right, yeah. But yeah, it's it's we haven't got to the horror part yet. We just like yeah, it's slow going, right? Yeah. Whoa, we got what the, the VHS. It's better than Cocoon though. Cocoon was a movie I was kind of disappointed with. You expect it, was, it to be horror? I was hoping it was going to be better. Um, it was Grumper. Like, oh, your water moves are going to be strong against Grumper. Oh. They're going to do double damage. Um, cause he's a ground type. Or earth type, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna no. keep saying ground. That? Guys, just deal with it. I'm gonna keep saying ground. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't know Charlie's weak to life trick. That's not cool, man. That's um, not cool. I just revived. Jeez. Yeah, um... Uh, who's gonna be good? Oh, it's my super scale. Right. Super scale is gonna be good bomb. against this scorpion guy. Um, yeah, what are there? Oh, we still haven't watched that Donkey Kong movie we got. We got a Donkey Kong VHS at the thrift store. <laughs> that animated thing? Yeah, some kind of like CGI reboot style animation. Oh, goodness. Um, which if you don't know what reboot is, reboot was a uh, cartoon from the late 90s early 2000s I think. something like that it was like the earliest form of like pixar style cgi animation um oh, and my. it was pretty rough let me tell you <laughs> they're like very static facial expressions it Saturday it's like morning. when you watch reboot and then you watch toy story you see how revolutionary toy story was <clears throat> yeah big change for sure because toy story really like broke like the world like everyone was like holy crap look how cool this like, is like wow yeah your wind moves are gonna be strong against that acronox by the way your um boomerang oh got that grumper guy yeah um but yeah it's actually very impressive when you consider that toy Oops. story came out in like what 96 or something or 95 yeah something like that i mean it was insane if you watch a ps1 cutscene too you can see like original style of um those graphics um of their well, they used graphics. to have shorts first before toy story they had shorts i was i shouldn't like say the all lamp P yeah that's true yeah that was when pixar started the i shouldn't lamp, say all yeah. ps1 cutscenes because if you watch like final fantasy 8 those cutscenes are really good and you're like wow yeah, i didn't true. know the ps1 could do this but then if you watch some if you play some other games like we were playing blood omen those I mean, it's a good game, but those CGI is a little rough, right? <laughs> is it? It's a little rough yeah. on the on the eyes, uh, so to speak. You ever use the phrase "so to speak"? So to speak, no. I never did until just now, and I was like, I just said it, and it felt weird coming out of my my mouth. Because <laughs> that's something you usually say. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. So to speak. Oh, we got a fruit salad here, all this stuff. I know, we should start enhancing our temp time. Get those TVs up. I want to enhance my Ana here, because he's got good stats, but he's just not going to be good in this section. Um, I'm going to have to wait till later. Yeah, do we go up this way? Maybe um, this way. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Oh, there's, there's water the up here. There's a lot of docks. Um, it's the lodge. Is this the lodge? Oh, let's see. That's what I saw. Yeah, the sign said so. Uh, well, it's like a wow, who built this thing? What is the point of all these zigzagging docks all over the yeah, place? Yeah, that's silly. What is the function here? Waste of who's this guy? Boards. Is he fishing? 
Oh, I guess my Fisher vacation is ruined. Oh, Martin. Uh, that's the real big problem here, guy. Martin. I He's know, pissed. I know, there's a war going on. I don't mean to sound selfish, just trying to get some deadpan humor, you know? <laughs> don't you remember me? I'm Captain George. Why would he? No way! Captain George? Young Captain George from Zader? Look at you now, growing up like a proper young sir on a table to boat. Wow. You make me proud, kid. Fishing may be ruined by all this commotion, but you sure made my day, Captain George. Thanks for that. Okay. Uh, I guess I was useless talking to him. Uh, How does he know us? I, I guess we were friends with him and Zadar when we were growing up. Oh, really? Small world. Uh, it's a small world, after all. Have you Where ever gotten stuck on that ride at Disney World? I just stuck uh, listening I'm not on stuck, but just slow down. Oh, here's a Quetzal and Guard. Oh, the Quetzals are here. Stop right there. Don't you do that. You don't look like one of them locals. Identify yourself at once. Are oh, Captain trouble? Coley's here. Hey, long time no see, man. Yeah, what up, man? Maybe you can do Captain Coley. Oh, shit. Well, well, if it isn't Captain George... If I made a list of the people I was least expecting to show up here, you'd be right between Indara and the Sea Queen of Denez. Long time no sea captain. What are we you call do him the sea captain. Uh, oh, that's you. <laughs> what are you doing in Kasewa? Kasewans, Tumani, we are sibling peoples. When word of what was going on in Kasewa reached Tuma, my guards and I offered to help. So allow me to welcome you to the provisional headquarters of the Tumani Volunteer Brigade, here to assist our Kazawan brethren again regain their freedom. How's the war going? Ooh, patriotic. Not exactly swimmingly, I won't lie. We had to requisition a ship to airlift all my guards from Quetzal since the Mawanku Island routes island routes was too slow, but it did not go well. Anyway, for once I am indeed happy to see you. You might still be useful after all. Oh. Yowch. So our original plan was to reinforce the defenders of Vumbi, but the Bilsoto air blockade forced us to divert southwards. The winds were crazy and we ended up dropping into these hills way off target. We billeted here in the Nuru Lodge and we've been holding out, waiting for resistance. The problem is I'm not even sure they know we're here. Uh, only if you say please. Ha! To think you were that cell, you, you were in that cell just a little while ago, and now I need your help. Interesting times indeed. No hard feelings, eh? Yes, you can definitely help. That was like ten episodes ago. Yeah, right. Oh my we God. need to lay with the resistance. We saw their camp at Upendani from the air. It's southwest of here, behind the mountains. We don't have fancy gravitonic pellets like you, so we're pretty much trapped here. Okay, so we basically just have to go to Upendani, which is where we're gonna do anyway. See if you can sneak past the Belsoda lines to Yupinzani and tell the Kasawans to come out, come get us out of here. Okay, all right, we got it. He's a little chatty. Some of these people in this game are a little chatty for my yabbity, graceful yabbity, 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 yabbity. klutz. A graceful klutz is here. Graceful klutz. Oh, I got graceful. it. He's a graceful klutz. Where's Kush? He's the current weak. Huh? I don't know uh, what that means. Maybe that means something we'll find out later. Uh, okay. Weary to money volunteer. Can you please shut up about that Sivesia or whatever her name is? Vicesia. Her name is Vicesia. Oh my goodness. How can you not know the greatest actress of our time? Oh, we talked to Vicesia, right? Uh, was it her? Yeah, it might have been her. I know it was somebody famous we talked to. Same shift as me. Who cares? Your cinematography education is more important than a stupid nap. Oh, okay. I guess they're a nap big fans. Oh, they're watching it here on TV. Oh, we can heal. Like we can heal up here. Look oh. at that. Oops. Oh, and we oh, can wait. buy some stuff. Oh, goody. Uh, do I need anything? I don't think I need anything. Goody, 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 goody. Um, I needed this really bad. So, do we want to go this way or that way? That Which way? way? I guess we'll try going this way. Let's see what's out here. Oh, there's another. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, they're filming out oh. here. Oh. Whoops. Ah, we just got in the way. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we just totally got in way. <laughs> totally. Right? Excuse bonded. me, are you doing something here? <laughs> so Hello. say it clearly then. Who does your heart truly belong to? The cause of Cha Cha, <laughs> True and freedom, or that denizen knave who would see us fail if it wins him your affection? Yeah, you could do Vicesia. Okay. Oh, fatally, it seems my heart 
No, my my destiny. My fate. My fate. It seems my fate is to have a heart torn in two, and the other thing. Bah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I just can't do this. Cut. Okay, let's take five. I'm sorry, Shuni. I just, it's very difficult to focus since, well, you know. Yes, I know. You'd rather do this scene with the real actor, right? I'm just the understudy. Please, Shuni, don't take it like that. You're a fine actress, just... M my name is Zuri, by the way. Well, if you <laughs> ar archipelago famous co-star hadn't run away at the first end of Bel Sotos, you wouldn't have to do this scene with me. But here we are, and we take, we're on, what, take 37? Oh, my Let's God. Let's just get it done, shall we? I'd rather go back to doing indie mockumentaries in Arbery, to be honest. <laughs> no need to be so blunt about it. And who are you? Are you the new makeup boy? You need to touch up mine. These lights have me sweating like a fountain. Uh, OMG, you're Shuni. <laughs> uh, so that's a smart ass. Zuri! My name is Zuri! And wait, your face looks familiar. Oh yes, you're Captain George. I remember you. You helped me get rid of that pesky paparazzo and amnesia. Great to see you again, Captain George. It's great to have an old friend around, especially since it's been a pretty challenging movie so far. To put it mildly. Uh, you'll do great, Shoo. <laughs> Shoo. My Shoo. name is Zur. It's been a pretty cursed shoot from the get-go, to be honest. First, the new roulage was too full because someone had forgotten to book the place so we could film. Then the director had this massive fight with the producers because they just want me to do more fantasy films instead of highbrow historical drama that doesn't sell, yada yada yada. Well this, when it finally looked like we were making some headway with the main shooting, these beltsies, or whatever they're called, landed and it's been a nightmare ever since. Everyone scrammed and half the supporting actors and my co-star are somewhere between here and Tuma and we're running out of time and money. What she's trying to say is we're doomed! She's just method acting, but she just, she means this, that. Shush you. Perhaps, I know this sounds crazy, but maybe you could help us. Uh, you're wrong. I can't act to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right, I can. I knew you could count on you. <laughs> ha, I knew I could count on you, Captain George. You did? You've known this Captain George dude for all five minutes. Please ignore <laughs> this sad little man here, Captain George. Yes, do that. I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, someone say something. Oh, a comedian. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> Why don't you get a copy of the screenplay from my agent, Captain George? He's inside. We'll take it from here. From oh, here. I guess she wants me to act in the movie with her. All right, oh we'll do God. all that later. We'll come back. I'm sure we're going to swing back What does that have to do way. with anything? Well, yeah, we got to fight more people. We got shit yeah, to do, Yeah, there's a lady. war going on. Yeah, right? There's war, man. War. We want to kick some ass, not act. For? Absolutely nothing. How do you kick that box? Uh, oh, okay. Just go just next to it press it. Oh, okay. Cold, free, uh, sleep. You name it. Where are we? Where? I'm just trying to check out. Oh, there's another box all the way on the other side. Oh, I'm finding so many boxes. It's like opening little presents to myself. Uh. You, isn't Yay. opening presents fun? Yes, it is. And then it's disappointing when you get something you don't want. Oh, You're like, oh, oh this thanks. was thoughtful. Yeah, I could use this. <laughs> I'll figure it out later how to re-gift it. Yeah, I'll be like, oh my god, like work presents. Oops. If you do like a work exchange. First of all, it sucks both giving and getting gifts at work because you don't know what to get people. And yeah, because you don't know them. It's you stupid. You get shit. <laughs> I never like, understood the point of that. It's like you don't... Yeah, you work with these people, but it's not like you hang out with them or live with them, so why bother? Yeah, it's like, um, you give shit and get shit. It's like, you know you're gonna give a it's crap. It's a waste of money and time. We used to do the white elephant exchange, yeah, which was like, time. where you just keep trading gifts. And sometimes, like, everyone had the gift that no one wanted. <laughs> and it was always, it was always so obvious, the gift that no one wanted. Um, and I felt bad for the person who bought that gift. Like, I got everyone an Amazon Echo and it just gets passed around. No one wants it. <laughs> like... <laughs> the thing is, like, at my job, we did that white elephant bullshit. And then you had also the, the opportunity to switch around. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did, the switch around. Where you would trade. I'm like, what's the point then? It was supposed to help people get what they want. That's true. But cheap. it's like, yeah. Oh, your water moves are going to do four times damage against the Volcrane. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get that 4x, 4x damage. 
Pum, 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 pum. What's the noise it makes when you do four times the damage? Yeah, sure. It does the Star Wars theme. Youch. Oh, well, is there I like... didn't get to do anything. Nice. Is there Way like to a go. More... Is there like a more iconic theme than the like... Boom, 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 boom. Well, you got Jurassic Park, too. Oh, yeah. How does that one go? Or Jaws. I don't know if Jaws is so much a theme. It's more like just a tense... Or Psycho. It's like a tense, like... Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, how does the Jurassic Park go and go again? I forgot that one. Ba, 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 ba. That's it, right? Yeah, that's part of it, yeah. Yeah, okay, I remember it. Do you remember Jurassic Park themes? <laughs> <laughs> um, so weird. But yeah, the Star Wars. Okay, like when we went to see the J.J. Abrams Star Wars, like back, I don't know, that came out like, what, six years ago now? God, that's so, wow. Is it that crazy that that movie came out like five years ago? Six years Has ago? it been five years? It's been a while. Um, huh. well, when when that Goodness. movie came out and the opening scroll started, where you know when it was quiet and then just the ba 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 ba, and then the the Star Wars text comes out and it starts scrolling. <laughs> I got goosebumps in the theater. <laughs> Ooh, somebody got goosebumps. Because I was like, it's back. Mm. Which a lot of people shit on the prequels. What were your thoughts about the Star Wars prequels? Those recent <clears throat> ones? No, the one, the prequels, like, you know, episode one, episode two. Oh, they're Phantom okay. Menace. Yeah, I think they get a bad rap. I don't think they were as bad. They were horrible, but they weren't as good as the original I ones, think you know? Jar Jar gets a bad Later rap. Sequels. Everyone's like, oh, Jar Jar Binks ruined Star Wars. I'm like, dude, he's ruined like... Ruined Star Wars? Wow, that's a complete exaggeration. Yeah, I was like, he's not that bad. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, he had... That, he didn't even have that big of a role. Yeah, well, they totally took him out. He was supposed to be in all three movies, and because so many people complained, and were, what the heck is that, Two Vine? Is that what Tuwai evolves into? Oh. Oh, I bet you if you put Tuwali on that shrine, he evolves into that. Oh, oh interesting. Okay. Oh, I should do that. Um, should I get my Saku out? Or, I don't uh, know. So, you're poised. Do you have a toxic move? Cause that's gonna be strong against Saku. No, you don't. No. If you have a toxic, oh, your snail, your um, platy pet. Yeah. He's gonna do some damage there. Um, but yeah, I think that that he's like people overreact. Like you know, people it always overreact. It is an overreaction overreact. because he was just yeah. background character. Yeah, it's not like he was the focus of the movie. He wasn't Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, and Obi Wan Kenobi was pretty good. What's his name? The actor. Um, but he's gonna Ian do McGregor? a series. Yeah, you, McGregor. Uh -huh. He's gonna be doing a Disney Plus mm -hmm. series as Obi Wan. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. they really liked him. I didn't even think the guy that played Anakin was that bad. Um, mm -hmm. I forgot his name too. They, I think they overreacted there. No, like, oh, he's so bad. The only thing oh. I felt like was Oops. weird about oh. the prequels, uh -huh. like I didn't buy the transition of Anakin going to the dark side. Like, it there wasn't was no as profound as it should have been. Yeah, oh there was God. nothing really that got him to that point. If that makes sense. It just felt like all of a sudden he just switched to being evil for no on reason On and off at all. button. Yeah. And there wasn't anything like, oh. Like, they tried to say that it was because his parents were killed by sand people. But it was so just, um, like, kind of out of left field. Like, it didn't feel organic to the story. Like, why that turned him to the dark side. I uh, don't know. That was my, that was my thing. Right. I think yeah, people No, were... yeah, that's true. It wasn't much of a, it didn't seem to do much. It should have been something more profound. I don't know. Yeah, and people were surprised by, like, um, how young Anakin was in episode one. I don't know if everyone was expecting, like, oh, this is going to start from when he's, like, a freaking child. I think they were expecting more, like, oh, it's going to start more around, you know, when he's about to turn to the dark side. Right, right. Um, there should have been more stuff happening. Yeah, and the CGI was bad. I mean, I get it. People were complaining about the CGI because the thing is, the, the original Star Wars movies had a certain aesthetic to them. Uh huh. Of like. They had props and stuff. They yeah, had things to work with. And the aesthetic was like this um, very. Uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? It was like everything looked like it was used and banged up a little bit. <laughs> like the Millennium Falcon looked used, banged up. Oh, your screen's like skipping frames or something. Uh huh. Uh, we were having that issue earlier. 
Um, yeah. But in the in the prequels, they made the CGI everything look so shiny and stuff. So like ruined kind of the aesthetic. And then I think J.J. Abrams brought yeah. back that aesthetic of oh, it shows him hitting like a machine with a wrench or something. It's uh-huh. like, you know, it doesn't. Not everything looks all fancy. It looks like more mechanical. Um, which you know from doesn't exactly make sense. I mean, I think certain things sucked about the J.J. Abrams ones, like when they were. I mean, I guess in the Star Wars universe, maybe it was can- established as canon before, but they can breathe in space apparently, right? Because at one point yeah. in that movie, they landed on the outside of a spaceship and were like raiding it on horses or something. And I was like... Yeah, um, it doesn't make any sense. Well, the, the, I guess they just the breathe in space. logic was not working very well. <laughs> I mean, I guess we just assume that somebody was established that, yeah, they, they everyone can breathe in space. Superhuman. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 it seemed to come out of nowhere in the last movie, though. But then, of course, we never watched the Clone Wars. Maybe they explained some of that stuff in the Clone Wars. That's true. There's some side um, stories that happen in other, like, TV shows or smaller movies or whatever. Yeah. All right, we're going to pause for one second just to see if we can troubleshoot JD's computer real quick. Because we're back. Yeah, we didn't fully fix JD's um, technical issue. We just had the graphics on the low setting. That was happening earlier, and we don't know why it's getting so laggy on her computer, because it was running yeah, fine up until today. I don't know if it's the internet that's lagging, or just the computer, or the graphics Wait, are having issues. I mean, you're fine, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and we're using the same internet, so we gotta look at your computer. Um, so you actually gotta go back down. That's the way we came from. Okay. Uh, All right. We gotta go this way. Uh, so yeah, we were talking about Star Wars and then breathing in space, and we're like, that didn't make sense. There's also a part where where Princess Leia br- was breathing in space, I guess, in the movie before that. So maybe that established that rule. They were establishing a lot of... She also got blown up and then somehow came back into the ship. They were establishing a lot of new rules in movie, like, 9 or... Yeah, movie 9 of the Star Wars saga. Like, the Jedi could apparently heal people too, right? Yeah. And I was like, well, that was never established before this movie. Well, maybe it was established in Clone Wars. I think they were yeah. mentioning that that was established. Ooh, you want to catch yourself a Zizir? Um, Zizari. It's, okay. I think it's pronounced Zizar. Zazare? Zazare. Zazare. I guess I'll catch this Paharak. Paharak. You want another one of those? I actually don't have one of those. I have a Paharo. Oh. But I never evolved into a Paharak. Oh, okay. I thought you had one. Ow, ow, stop it! Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> Is that a worse thing? Oh, yeah, you could throw your temp card down okay. and probably catch him. Let's see. Uh, Where is it? Try that. I wanna... Oh, I don't have that many people who are still alive. Oh boy. Yeah, I know. Oh boy, I gotta use that 10 essence vial. Uh, okay, that's enough, about, enough about Star Wars. If we're gonna talk this much about Star Wars, we should play a Star Wars game, right? <laughs> like Lego right? Star Wars or Star Sound Wars like The Force that. Awakens. Oh my god, there's so many Star Wars games. Oh I guess no, it's gotta be it a didn't work. Weaker. It didn't work. I guess he's still a little too strong. Um. It didn't work, George. Now uh, what? He's uh, going to escape. I guess just do another little little smack. Um, but don't hit him too hard now. But how am I going to... I just, don't know. Uh, do one of the weaker moves, like your... Uh, I guess my boomerang? Yeah, that one's not that strong. Let's see what happens. Uh, Hopefully yeah, there's so many Star Wars games. I don't know which one. Ooh. I was curious to play Knights of the Old Republic because I've heard a lot of stuff about that one. Because it's like an RPG. It's like they turn Star Wars. Oh, sorry, Cheryl. Ouch. I need to use a thing. Got smacked uh, in the head. Yeah, because I, I heard they turn like Star Wars into this big, epic, like Dragon Age style RPG. And I was like, oh, that oh, sounds like a really okay. cool thing to play. Um, Interesting. And I was like, so for the original Xbox, but I think they also released it for PC. Um, so you could try it. I've never played it before because I didn't have the original Xbox. Well, weren't you Xbox. playing that one that was like really pop- popular? Oh, Jedi Fallen Order? Yeah, that yeah, one was with really the kid, good too. This young guy? Yeah, we should do that one too. You had played that one for a while and then for some reason you stopped. I used to play a lot when I was a kid. The um, Oh, you got a 50 stat. Damn. Just, that. yeah, one. Yeah, is it a female? Oh, it's a male, so you can't breed more of them. Um, I used to play X-Wing and TIE Fighter as a kid. So there was one where you can, um, you fly like an X-Wing um, on your computer and you had like oh, missions. Cool. It's kind of like Wing Commander, if anyone's ever played Wing Commander, but with Star Wars ships. Um, Wing Commander. 
It and was like this lousy sci-fi movie with like Freddie Prince Jr. and Matthew. Oh, Lord. they made a movie out of Wing Commander. Oh I no think, way! Yeah, it was from that. Was there a space where they like space pilots? Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, so that was Wing Commander. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Well, X-Wing was like, yeah, you were Wing Commander. You could fight, or you could fly all of the um, different oh. um, rebel ships. And then the cool thing was they released a game after that called TIE Fighter, and you can fl like fly all the different TIE Fighters, oh. which was kind of unique Interesting. for time. Oh, that's the thing I say. We trade our Platy Platy Platymos. We should trade them to each other, but I don't know if we can trade them back. I don't know if we, like you could trade it to me, evolve it, and then trade it back to each other, oh. or if it's going to not let us trade back. Um, cause I think there's some... I think in Pokemon Ooh. you're not allowed to keep trading back and forth with the same person. Oh, I'm not 100% no sure idea. on that. I may be way off base and people are like, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What, what are you saying? What the hell is George smoking? Um, it's been it's been a while since I played Sword and Shield and I didn't do that much trading with people because JD didn't have a copy so we didn't trade with each other. No, yeah, I didn't really she trade She doesn't much. have her own Switch. She was playing some of mine, or some of the game on my Switch. Um, I need my own switch. Oh, now I know yeah. what I want for Christmas. Do you <laughs> really? Because I'll totally get you one. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> You're like, oh, really? uh, never mind. Um, so my tornado should do double damage against Platymus if he lets me hit him. He's <laughs> uh, like, why would I let you hit me? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. I'm going to stay on my Pidgey Pack. Well, I mean, you're 32 and he's like 59. I, I should have grinded up my Pidgey Pack. I forgot about him. Uh, Left to behind. Yeah, because he's got good stats too. I was distracted with my my Adoro and my I forgot about my my Typhoo also. Too many pets. I was yeah. Oh my god, it gets it's hard to handle. That's why we only have one dog. So <laughs> I wonder if anyone's. I'm sure people have done videos for all kinds of um, Temtem and Pokemon stuff. If someone's tried to beat the game with just one single Pokemon instead of collecting like a team of six, just like okay. One guy, I got my Bulbasaur, and he's gonna fight the rest of this um, game for me. <laughs> Take it all the way. Yeah. Gosh. Bulbasaur. You like my Bulbasaur person? Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur sounds like he smokes like a lot of cigarettes or something. He's like Bulbasaur. Bulb. I says more Squirtle, right? No, is it Squirtle? Squirtle. 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 Uh, it's rough squirtle. there. <laughs> a little squirtle. Pretty rough. Yeah. Oh wow, my like. My platy pad leveled up twice there. Oof. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did some interesting voices. Um, in that, I think the um, the voices essentially come from the anime, right? Because the yeah, because the Game Boy game didn't have any voice acting, but they did make sounds. If you played the Game Boy game and you hit like a Pokemon, you could hit like a thing, and it, it would just make like a weird like sound that the Game Boy sound chip could produce, <laughs> like a. <laughs> Or something like that. <laughs> Sounds like a sneeze. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It'll just be these weird like noises that they could get out of the Game Boy sound chip. Um, where are we going? What are we doing? Where Where's are we your going? map? Uh, I guess we can slide across here. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a guy. He's like not going to on the go. wall now. A skater. A skater. He's a skater boy. I'm gonna say see you later, boy. <laughs> Time out, Bill Soto scum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Nice hair. There's Soto scum tempt him up. Scummy. Uh, so this is a mental and crystal type. So what would be? Oh, your Nestle is like oh, one, one little HP there. You gotta get someone else in there. Yeah, I don't have um, anything else. Oh no. Do you have any in your bottom three lineup? But what do you mean? Yeah, never mind. But um, yeah, the uh. Jesus. That didn't give me much of anything. Oh, do yeah. you have a Tem Essence file? There goes me. Bye, but everybody. Do you, do you have your? You should use your Tem Essence file after the fight to heal up. Do you still have one? I don't know. Mm. I would have to check. Uh, maybe. Ooh, the mystery. Um, it's all you now. Uh, no, that's not gonna be strong. What's gonna be strong against them? The water didn't do much, did it? They're like level 63. They're strong. There's some tough guys here. Some tough cookies. Well, fortunately, my Temtem have been working out. They've been at the gym pumping iron. Oh, well, not really. They're not doing a whole lot of ton of damage. <laughs> Maybe this Heldanger You build it up too much there, George. <laughs> oh, my God. Just keep attacking him. Do what you can, buddy. I don't have Cage. That's just a shitty move. I should take that off of my... Uh, my typhoon. I don't want that. 
give him something different. Oh, well, he's almost dead. I'm just doing Let's like, I'm just wearing him out by, uh... I'm doing the Homer Simpson in that boxing episode. I'm just gonna have him keep punching me till he wears himself out. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I guess I gotta just take a rest because um, he's kind of like overexerting himself. Oh my God, he's still alive! Just die already! <sighs> just die. Clean on. Die, die. You need to die now. Okay, there he goes. Now he's dead. Thank you. you. The command. Thank you for dying. Oh man, my Typhoon's leveling up. Uh, okay, I guess we could just wrap it up here. Next episode, we'll skate around um, and figure out what's down here. This is probably where we need to go. Oh, it's blank right now. Yeah, that's where we need to go for sure. Oh, um, but we don't have our skates. Yeah, we could probably finagle our way through there, hopefully. Uh, gosh. We'll see. Maybe, or maybe we have to go up around this way. That would make more sense to go up around. We'll figure it out. But we'll do that in the next episode, guys. See you later. Bye.